Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey here. Today we're going to be using Dreadnought on the high ladder on Pokemon Showdown Are You? Now, I haven't played any games uh, since I hit number one. Actually, I played one game in the beginning of this live. I tried to start it and all my abilities were wrong on my Pokemon, so I forfeited. And it looks like I went from number five, which is where I decayed to, to number 16. But that's fine. I'd rather have Swift Swim Poly- or I'd rather have Drizzle Polytoad than, you know, play with my Water Absorb and have my team be completely useless, miss every attack. But yeah, shout out to Power Toss for the team. If you guys want to get it, check out my website, Pokemon.com. I really love RU, and Dreadnought is one of those Pokemon that I really, really, really liked um, in the beginning of Pokemon Sword and Shield. And because Dynamax just made it broken, right? Like It was just so strong of all its uh, Dynamax moves. So in this game, definitely a lot of threats. Um, probably the Gardevoir being one of them just because it traces Swiss Swim, but I'm pretty sure Polytoad walls it because it's max special defense. Uh, Darmanitan gets destroyed by Dreadnought, Zarude is really really strong versus me too, and Volcanion is also walled by Polytoad, but Polytoad is also walled by Volcanion, so that will be an interesting trade, I probably have to wall it, I probably have to, um, what's it called, uh, just sit on it for a little bit. The, <laughs> the Reggie Drago is very threatening considering I have no fairy type, but I like Steelix a lot really early because I'd go like Zarude or, I'm surprised they went Darm considering I have a rain team. But I guess because they can bring out Volcanion and Zarude at any given point. Uh, but I wanted Rocks up to chip, uh, to chip away at my opponent. Holy crap, man. Already starting it off. We do find out their Life Orb, though, which is great. Uh, they're probably going to go for another U-turn here. We're still going to bring out Silix anyway. As they go for Whip, which does absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. I have Hurricane in the back to do with this. So I'll set up my Rocks here. Um, the Mana 10, when I, as long as I'm in rain, I think I'm okay versus it, too. Uh, and rocks are going to be nice for wearing down Reggie Drago and, and potentially Volcanion, depending on the set. Uh, if it's specs, I don't think it can. It might be able to Ikeo my uh, Pyto, but we'll see. Uh, if they go for Earth Power here, we can bring out Dreadnought and just start wreaking havoc. So that has to be specs. So I know that that has to like that legitimately has to be specs. So I'm going to bring out my Healy List right now, like to do 25% as a max special defense. You know what? Well, high ladder, I might as well calc it. Volcanion, oh you shut down usage. Steam eruption. Oh, that's not specs. Damn, that's just standard. Uh, either way, Healy should be able to live a hit, even like an Earth Power. So, yeah, I thought I had the wrong ability for a second. I was like, am I about to die? I don't think I have to predict my period, considering I have Surf and I'm Life Orb. So I'll just go right for the Life Orb Thunder. I get rid of Volcanion, which is amazing for at least uh, clicking water moves versus my opponent. As right period comes out, my friend, I don't know if you saw that life orb, but this is a Heliolisk in this is Heliolisk in the rain, my friend. This is Heliolisk in the rain. Reggie Drago comes out. It could be Scarf. Uh, this mon's still decent, but honestly, I'm so weak to Reggie Drago. I need to hit it. At this point, liquidation just kills everything. Liquidation just kills everything. So we should be good. Um, is this going to outrage me? No. Zarude is also super strong here. I think I just bring out my Steelix. If they go for Hammer Arm again, I know their choice. And even if they miss, like, I mean, it, it, I feel like it doesn't make a huge difference because, and they are choice. I think their choice banned. My God. Did a lot. Uh, just because, again, Dreadnought just kind of cleans up in the end game. And once Rain ends, I should be strong enough. Or I should be good enough versus them too. Just going to click this body press one more time. And now I can click Liquidation, Liquidation. To be able to pick them up or i can click hurricane it's probably better to click hurricane with tornadoes that way they don't trace my pranks uh they don't trace my um my swift swim and uh, dreadnought comes in after to revenge kill and gets the kill and they don't have enough turns to win because i have a scarf to root so yeah so like this should be planned out basically the last pokemon in this if it goes the way i'm thinking is going to be scarf to root knocking out gardevoir if gardevoir can even deal with tornadoes that is because hurricane is a guaranteed kill on something now well, it's a 2 KO on Gardevoir, it KOs Darmanitan, it KOs Zarude. I would have been Dreadnought now, but again, just to reiterate, I don't want to give my opponents a Gardevoir Trace and Swift Swim, which is naturally faster than Dreadnought, and be able to reverse sweep me. So if I do it when I have three turns left, and I do it after this, I'm good. Yeah, there's Scarf, so this is great. Basically, there's one turn left. I'm guaranteed to be able to bring out my Dreadnought here. I get my kill. And even though they trace Swift Swim, it doesn't matter because, like I said, Zarude's going to be the last one out. If they even can KO Dreadnought after, that is. Because they definitely have to sack Darmanitan. Or, they throw this away, that means Dreadnought just wins. Or Zarude just wins anyway because of the like, oh, I said. But I might as well make it be Dreadnought. Uh, it could be Zarude at the end, but 
Actually, I don't even think the KO knew Earthquake. Oh, Life of Earthquake actually picked up the KO. There's no way, though, that they live um, this attack plus U-turn plus everything. So Darkest Lariat should win the game. There's no way. It should do 56%. And like I said, Zeru being the last one out. Exactly. So, good game. Beautiful. All right, guys, real quick. I thought yesterday was the last day for G Fuel March Madness. So I was kind of like stressing, like, okay, 11.59. Did I make it into round three? It turns out it's today because I'm dumb and can't read. So, if you guys didn't know, I'm in this thing called uh, G Fuel Madness, where basically uh, round one and round two are sales based. We're in round two right now, which ends tonight at 11.59 p.m. Eastern. And we have to outsell 16 other people on this list. As you can see by the list, there are some big names on that list. However, we're doing pretty good, but we need to solidify ourselves into round three. And round three is all creative. Everything else is creative based after this. So it doesn't matter that these people can outsell me with a single tweet. Uh, but if you guys want to support, feel free to use code AIM. It's 30% off. G Fuel is a caffeinated energy drink, so be aware of what you are drinking, 18 plus. However, they do have a hydration line that has zero calories, zero caffeine, zero sugar. I like the strawberry lemonade. That's my favorite flavor from the hydration line and in general. Uh, but I also like phase berry as well as dragon fruit. And they have some good caffeinated lines too, I'll be honest. Uh, Shiny Splash is, if I'm not mistaken, out uh, of stock right now. But that's one of my favorite flavors. But if you guys want to support, and even if you don't want to get like that, maybe tell your friends. Or if you don't want to get the drink, you could also get a shaker from there. There's a, they have a book bag too. But anything to support uh, would be highly appreciated. But either way, I'm very thankful that we made it to round two. Especially because there were 64 people in round one. And we beat some big names. So, yeah, today's the last day. But let's get this game. Yo. Really strong team on my opponent's part. Uh, love Heliolus, though. Heliolus goes in, but obviously I'm also very weak to the uh, Zydog. Um, holy crap, man. Zarud is hella strong. This is kind of exciting. Ooh. Zarud is hella strong in this game as well. I love that. Puka, what you doing, baby? You good? Oh, did you finish your tweet? Don't, don't break. You know you're not supposed to break that. All right? Be a good girl. You can come in if you want. You can come in and rest on me. Here you go. My bad. My dog is like, hey, you took two hours to get back home. I know you had errands, but come here. Anyway, <laughs> should be fun. Uh, but yeah, Zeru looks incredible. Scarf Zeru just uh, basically beats a lot on their team. They could Aura Sphere, but Scarf Aura Sphere would not be able to knock me out. So I'm going to U-turn here and uh, bring out Polytoad. I'm max special defense, so even Thunderbolt won't be able to knock me out either. I'm assuming they'd Aura Sphere as they do go for it. They do 27% is that choice specs. I feel like everything's choice specs at this point, right? Raikou... Um, are you combine or sphere? Yep, that is choice spec. So good to know. So I would bring out Sweet if I were them, but I don't really have a double that also do. Actually, I do. It's called uh, it's called this. Uh, if they're offensive, I mean, like I don't like Tornadus as much in this. Though that prankster defog is good. If they're offensive, it's a problem. But I can bring out Heliolisk after and get a kill. So I'm gonna hurricane here as they scald me. It turns out they are defensive. Um, I'm assuming they might side shock here too because I have Heliolus. I'll hurricane again. We'll just mess like they're messing around with 30% chance to to uh, they're messing around with the 30% chance. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk this mon too because it's really good. And side shock, actually side shock might kill me, so it's not worth the risk. But they were messing around with that 30% chance to basically uh, get confused. I'll click hyper voice here because it hits Zygarde. Um, not as worried about Klefki here. Hits Raiko as well. It should be able to knock out Starmie, and I get the rain on my side. Very nice play going right out to Klefki there. A Thunder is going to do some beautiful damage, though. Throw off another Thunder right here. And I'll make the, uh, I'll make the Steelix play, because I don't want Zygarde coming in for free. Set up Stealth Rock. I'm assuming they might go Starmie here. But I'll set up Stealth Rock for at least Raikou. Uh, I waste the, the turns of screens as well because they're leftovers. Puka, did you not finish that? Is that what you were calling me? Oh, that's what you were calling me. You didn't finish the treat. Again, I think my Zerud is going to be my endgame just because it's, it's super strong in this, especially with Klefki being gone or potentially weakened. Um, I should have made the Heliolus play, I think, earlier on, on Starmie. So that was, uh, that was my bad. But yeah, we get up rocks there. We'll be able to knock him out with body press here. And light screen is gone. So, you go down. Sorry about that, Pooks. Here you go. There you go. Starmie is going to come out. I'm assuming they might rapid spin. Here you go, Pooka. 
don't even want to sleep on me. He's just using me because I know how to <laughs> how to get rid of stuff. Um, so liquidation looks amazing. It gets rid of everything. Healisk is still very strong here. I th I don't think body press knocks you out either. What goes a rude? Uh, it's a little bit risky, but because yeah, because they're most likely just gonna go for that. I can afford to go for U-turn here. You won't be able to knock me out. They might just be defensive star me as well. So like they might be able to not be able to kill me. Cause I, I go drape on if I were them. And I want to bring back out Steelix. And do actually the better play is to probably just click power whip. Yeah, it hits everything on their team. It doesn't allow anything. Yeah, especially especially something like that. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Give me Starby. Awesome. So I'm assuming Drapion comes out. Exactly. We go Licks as they knock off. And Body Press is essentially free, but uh, Rocks are going to pave the way for my Dreadnought to KO everything. So I'm going to go for the Stealth Rock here. This could be Scarf Drapion. It's SD. No worries. We live, exactly, that's why I wasn't as worried. And I get some beautiful damage off on Drapion there. Everything is Black Sludge, holy crap, man. <laughs> because the Rude knocks out these two, I just wanna know how much Heliolus does to this guy. Thunder, my God. Hyper Voice does 76 to 90%, perfect. That's exactly what I wanna see, so. Am I reading this right? Did I put the right Pokemon? Like, damn, bro, you're taking way too much damage. Alright, we're gonna Hyper Voice here. Pick up my KO. It says 76 min. So we get my kill here. Uh, it still knocks out the dog as well. I just heal it. I basically claim Hyper Voice forever, I think. Until I die. And then I set out Polito, get up the rain, and then liquidate, liquidate, liquidate. Heliolisk automatically always walls Suicune. And my Power Whipper wins the second this one is gone. So we'll take this. Give me Raikou, awesome. Zydog comes out. If it is Dragon Dance. If it's Dragon Dance, I can lose. So I'm gonna click Hyper Voice. Let him Thousand Arrows me. Because I basically get to go U. I get to click Power Whip. Yeah, because if, if that Dragon Dance there, I have a chance to lose. Because if it was Dragon Dance uh, into Outrage, it's fast. I think it's faster than Dreadnought. Um, <laughs> Puka's so funny. Peace. Awesome. So Drapion comes out. We go Polytoad here. Click my Scald. Bring out you. Click my Liquidation. Get my kill. Sweeken comes out. SD up. And I basically just, uh, I guess, liquidate till the end, right? As they go for sub. Fine, Earthquake breaks the sub. It's going to come down to them burning my... Uh, oh, never mind. I'm just going to hit Stone Edge. <laughs> like, I've decided. I was going to it's going to come down to them burning my Zerud, but as long as they're not behind a sub, how much does this do to max HP Suicune as well? Because if I can go for, uh, like... If I can go for the... Because these are always, like, max HP and max speed. In the rain, Stone Edge obviously kills. Earthquake does 62 to 74%. Uh, if I do 62 min, they are out of range of being able to sub to me. So, uh, actually, if I do 62 min, they can still sub. I'm still going to go for Earthquake here. Uh, Alright, they are literally max defense sub combine. But, provided I land a power whip, I win the game. <laughs> Yo, they should have subbed there too. Come on, Zarude. Come on, buddy. If I win this, I'm sorry. Hey, if you're sorry, then just, just fall over. <laughs> Good game. Not bad, not bad. Zarud did it, and uh, Dreadnought was doing it. Uh, so yeah, Earthquake was my best play if they were just a standard uh, uh, sub-combine Suicune. Because again, if they're max HP, it denies them a sub, and then I'd be able to knock them out with Power Whip. Um, I didn't realize they were that set, though. Had I realized they were that set, I might have just went for Stone Edge and risked it. Because the potential of my opponent beating me there at the end was very 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 scary yeah, i was actually very 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 scared of that um yeah uh, oh my bad uh let me show let me show uh my buddy so godzilla is fighting so obviously if you look at the thumbnail the, the idea that i'm giving pedro is i want it to be a godzilla type thumbnail right because i have dreadnought uh which is you know kind of reminds me of godzilla it's, it's a damn blizzard-ish 
almost as a turtle, but it, it got nice tough features and it swims and it can be on land, whatever. Uh, and then Zarud reminds me of Kong and uh, King Kong holding staff. I said if you want, you can put a staff in Zarud's hand. Let me, let me just give him the image. I'm, I'm, I guess he didn't watch the, uh, the trailer. I'm very excited for Kong versus uh, Godzilla. Like, I really hope that they do not butcher it because I don't understand how you can have giant monsters fighting and your movie not be good. Like, what, what is actually going on? Why is your movie not good? Also, turn on the lights, okay? This is not the dark night. I need to be able to see the action even if it's only eight minutes in your damn hour and a half movie. Oh, now I'm talking about Superman versus Batman, but uh, I still, I need to be able to see the action when I'm watching this movie. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. It's, it gets me so heated when I'm so hyped about a movie and then a scene is ruined because I have to use my imagination to figure out what's going on. If I wanted to use my imagination to figure out what's going on, I'd read more manga. Like, this is an action movie. Give me something. Damn it. All right, we got a game. Oh, they're currently suspect testing Zygarde. I didn't even realize that. I didn't even read that. Dude, my opponent's team is are you? How? You should not be are you. You should not be are you. You should not be are you. You definitely should not be are you. You should not be are you. You, you. Still, Alex, you, you're doing all right over here. You're doing your best work down here. Um, Zarud's pretty good. Zarud's pretty good. Checks a lot of these guys. So I like Zarud a lot. Still, is obviously very strong too. Necrozma is a giant threat. That's why Zarud is really strong early on. Uh, Zarud into Polytoad is really strong. Uh, a start versus Necrozma. Um, Dreadnought basically kills everything, which is amazing. If it if it connects his attacks, it kills everything. I just need a little bit of chip, which rocks are going to provide that for me. I like Zarud again uh, because I can just click button. All right, so will you turn here? I need a little bit of chip. Uh, Lix's job is to just take one. Please take one, this one hit. I just need you to take one hit from this thing. That's fine. That's completely fine. Close combat knocks you out after. I just need. I just needed you to take that one hit. All right. Because now everything is in range of dreadnought. With them rocks up, sturdy broken. Everything is in range of dreadnought. And your boy has a pie toad into a tornadus that is always going to be sacked. So, gonna encore them into that. That way it lets me bring out my Helisk. Have a very safe surf here. Extremely safe surf. Uh, nothing wants to take Life Orb Surf in the rain into Thunder. So it's very, very safe. And Porygon, like I said, nothing wants to take Life Orb Surf into Thunder. I get the crib, but I don't think it mattered. So if Steelix wants to come out, that's great. Because then I basically win the game with Dreadnought, really. Helix is another one that could be Godzilla if I wanted it to be. <laughs> but I think Dreadnought, like I said, I really like Dreadnought. Okay, this is obviously Screaming Scarf, but if you have to flinch me, yeah, if you have to flinch me in the rain while I'm getting a recovery with your Togekiss, it's not a good look for you. It is not a good look for you. All right, we'll Volt Switch here out into Zarud. I shouldn't die to Meteor Beam because I'm very bulky. They can't Heat Wave me. I take every attack besides Thunder Wave. Uh, just Darkest Larry here. They can't, again, they shouldn't be able to kill me in the rain. I might even be faster depending on their set. And they can't uh, have Darkest Larry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't hit me with that. And then Dreadnought cleans up. So we're good. We're looking good. We're looking good. We are looking good. And the best part is they're going to go Obstagoon. Maybe go for knockoff or something. Honestly, I'd probably stay in one turn on Obstagoon because Obstagoon is a threat. Uh, they can't knock me out unboosted. And the little bit of chip I do to them puts them in range of liquidation. So we should be good to win now. I think anyway. It depends on what this set is. No, even if it's Iron Defense, Darkest Larry goes through boost. Uh, they can't Morning Sun. Um, yeah, you don't need to, but just make it look good now. Uh, I'm heading out today. Got some stuff to take care of today. Always making moves. Yo, guys, I'm hoping to. I mean, I, I, I'm hoping to put down a down payment on a house next month. Even though I hate taxes and taxes are about to happen, and then I have to pay property taxes and stuff. But that's like my goal. It's insane to me. I, I just, because my opponent's taking forever, so I might as well talk. Um, it's insane to me that, you know, I'm in such a, not that I have the money for that yet, but that I'm in a position to be able to do what I love, which is, you know, play Pokemon and, you know, make money off of it too. So you guys supporting me has been crazy. I had people come to my stream, uh, last week and be like, yo, I've been sub to you since 2010. What the hell? That's 11 years, bro. That means that as I grew up from high school, you know, 10th grade, uh, 10th grade, which is when I started my, uh, my channel into, you know, now 
uh, I'm, I'm way out, right? Shoot, I haven't been in college in four years either. Though I do have one class I need to finish, I'll be real. I should, I should get my bachelor's, but I'll finish that whenever. I don't know. Um, it's just insane that the uh, where I am, right? Like you never see, I, I, I was some kid coming home after school, after track practice, just like going on YouTube and watching Wild Chase, watching Show Food. I, mean, I was uploading too, obviously around the time, right? Um, well, even go back even later, watching MTG Xerxes or earlier, watching MTG Xerxes, watching MBZ, uh, people like that, and then uploading alongside it, and then, you know, caught my break, quote unquote, in XY, and just kept rolling with it. And I mean, I know I'm not like the biggest channel out there, but to be where I am, it's just, it's insane to me. Like every day, I, I feel so blessed to be where I am. That's why like, I was like, yeah, I want to upload. Yeah, I want to do this. One, I, I, I'm lucky enough to be in this position, but two, I freaking love what I do, right? The best thing is being paid to do what you love, because if I wasn't paid to do what I love, I couldn't do what I love. That's it, right? Imagine your favorite thing is going home and playing, uh, oh, maybe a couple of years, what? Not, maybe me COD or, or Valor or whatever, whatever is your favorite thing. And you just love playing that, right? You spend hours on that and you're really freaking good. But of course, you got to go to bed and the next day you got to go to school or you got to go to work and wake up and maybe you hate your job and doing things like that, right? Uh, and, but imagine someone said to you, hey, I will pay you a living wage. And living wage is really... <laughs> Not necessarily true. It depends on how much work you put in. Right now, ads have been terrible for the past three months, so it's been pretty. I put it in work. That's why I've been streaming every month, every day this month. But uh, just imagine somebody telling you, "Hey, you, you, you're good at this. We're gonna pay you to do this. You don't gotta do your work no more. You'll be covered." And that's and then that's it. Like you're gonna you're able to do what you love because you get paid. Holy crap, man! Give me a game. These people do not want to hear me talk about how I feel. Well, maybe they do. Nah, most people just want to watch this. I don't know. There's there's a mix. Uh, I know I lost this. Eh. Journal looks phenomenal. As I've said multiple times, but has not done too much. Um, the real good mod is Helios in this game, for sure. Like It is, it is a great speed tier. Puka, can you not bite my chair? That'd be amazing. I'm going to feed you once this video is done. Um, yeah. Zeru looks good. I'm obviously Scarf. I like Steelix a lot. I'm going to get up rocks with Steelix. Steelix can wall a lot of their team. I'm going to get early rocks up with Steelix, especially because I lead with Zarud if I were them. Uh, Crobat works too. We're just going to get up Stealth Rock here. I think it's a waste of a turn to click Taunt with Crobat. I really think so, because there was potential that I just clicked you know, an attack that I actually did damage. But because they went Magnezone to try and Body Press. is that, Are you going to try and Body Press beat a Steelix 1v1? That's very... I'm, 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 the only word that I'm thinking of is Q. Like, that's that's Q, right? Like, this is a threat, man. You're not going to be able to body press, beat me 1v1, especially because I'm going to do it right back. Exactly. Click Stealth Rock again. It's the exact same thing, dude. Uh, my taunt's going to end, and it's going to be in my favor. I'm going to click I'm gonna click body press one more time. All right, so they bring out you. I mean, you look amazing, Tornadus. So uh, I'll get up the rain here. As they go for knockoff, and we'll bring out Torn. And we're gonna default. I expected them to bring out their magnets on. That's why. So I could default away the hazards and hit my attack. Let's see if I can hit. Why would you give me this? <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm gonna take it from you. Shoot. Why not? I could. I have prankster defog, dude. This is the only thing stopping me from spamming water moves. I have prankster defog. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and Volt Switch here. Magnezone comes out, and that gives me my Young Rockers. Finally. So that's good for Cloyster. Cloyster's the main reason why I want it Rocks up. Also, I don't think they have Defog on their Crobat. Hey, man. But for Iron Defense myself, yeah, I figured they'd do that. Bro, you know that we're just going to do equal damage to each other, right? That's that's how this works. You're going to do the exact same damage you did the first time. I only did it that way I can beat every other mod on your team. I'm going to beat your Crobat 1v1. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> awesome. Magnezone's gone too. Go Zarude. Go Crobat. I probably don't beat it 1v1, but we'll see. Oh, oh I hella do. So that we know they have a sash on their... Uh, we know they have a sash on, on Cloyster, right? Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't think you beat me 1v1 either. As long as I hit Toxic, I'm pretty sure I'm good. I am plus 6 defense, dude. Like, I might not be able to touch you, but I'm fairly confident... Oh, they have Drain Punch. Okay. 
I think I just spam this until I die. That's it. I'll take the healing off. 43%. Alright. Getting Dreadnought. Sack my Steelix. They die. I just want to make sure that they can't go in Crobat now. They can go Zarud. Which is completely fine. Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, that's Sash Cloister, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to go Zarud on my own. Holy crap. Mmm. That's the Stone Edge here. I didn't throw depending on the Zarud set. Land. I know that's Sash. That's hella Sash Cloister. It depends on the Zarud set. Because I may, I may, I thought they would have power up there. Because uh, basically uh, they could always bring out Croba after. Ah, I, I didn't get it. I threw. Well, I don't know if I threw, but I. So I, uh, I forgot about my ring turns. I should have SD'd on the uh, the the damn Zarud. So that was my bad. I should have SD'd on Zarud because the switching to Crobat was a little bit obvious. Um, uh, and at least I could have liquidated at the end and then won the game with uh, Hyper Voice. I really didn't think they'd go for close combat that turn. I really thought Power Up was played because they couldn't kill Dreadnought uh, with that. Where did my dog go? Puka, where did you go? You were under my table the whole time? Please don't tell me you were chewing my wires. Last time she destroyed my mic. Last thing I want for her to do is mess up my Wi-Fi. I'm going to look down here. She's a really good dog, too. She's just, just anxious. That was my bad for uh, for that play. I was going to SD as well. But after they click close combat, I was like, oh, crap. Why would you click close combat in front of the Because it doesn't kill. And if that mon goes down, you just lose the Heliosk. And I was also worried about, like I said, Cloyster doing it. Does it actually kill? Because they were, what are they, banded? Maybe it did kill. From from banded, maybe they did kill. Get that out of here. Oh, wow, it did kill. Okay. It, it kills from bandit. Okay, it didn't kill for normal, but it kills from bandit. So maybe what I should have done was uh, let Lix die there, then get up right. I just didn't want them to be able to defog on me, which is, I think, fair considering. Out. Hey, get out. I think that's fair considering they. Holy crap, is this my part of my wire? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah. This dude has a, a grassy... Uh, come on, man. I'm not playing OU and I still got to deal with Rillaboom. Does this Zarud get grassy glide too? Is that I used it before. I swear it does. I'm fighting Spade. Oh, it's the flaming Spade. I love Spade. Um, right, He's probably going to play me in a certain way. Uh, Zarud destroys him. I'm really fighting Spade. Anyway, Zarud goes in in this game. So that's going to be super nice. Uh, the... i got to feed you soon, too. I know. Um, Zuru goes in, just U-turn. Darkest Larry. It's amazing in this game. I have Spidef Polytoad, so I should be okay, too. Uh, this could be Flame Body. Hopefully, it's not Flame Body. That makes a difference. My Hurricane is really good, too. Chandler is the lead of choice. Uh, we're just going to make the Polytoad play. Whether they go for a Fire move, I'm good. They're crazy if they double into Raikou here. I don't think you make that play. I'm pretty sure Zarud learns Grassy Glide because I've used it. Yeah, Kobalion makes a little bit more sense. I'm just going to Scald. If I burn something, great. Uh, Blastoise just gives me my uh, Healy list because I'm switching. So we're going to Scald. Uh, if they SD up, if they get up rocks, whatever. I mean, every bit of damage is good for Dreadnought. Look how much I just did. <laughs> 55 freaking percent, man. Dude, Aura Spheres are so free from Raikou. That's that's scary. The best case is they Volt Switch out on the Raikou. Look at that. Look at that little damage. Look how little they did. They do 15. That's the best case. They do 15%. <laughs> they were Raikou too. Nah, but I burn it. And then they try an Aura Sphere beat me 1v1. The Wacky comes out. I like Licks. I don't want to bring out uh, Tornadus right now. I like Licks and being able to click Toxic on Blastoise as a U-turn. If this is Shell Smash Blastoise, it's a problem, but I have to click Toxic on it either way. 
If it's Shell Smash, I think I lose. They were toxic me. I don't care about I don't care about taking the scald. Oh, they may flip turn as well. I feel like it'd be hazard control for this team. I was wrong. Okay. 80 times 1.5. Faster than you. Terrain Pulse. That's really, really cool. That is super cool. It almost cost them their Pokemon, but that's still super cool. Alright, so we're going to go Toad here, which definitely lives every hit. And just click Scald. This is tough, but my, my Rainer is still... My Hurricane is still good. My Drenna is still good, too. I just got to be careful about Thwacky, man. It messes me up. 25%. Honestly, you're not going to do that much. I think it was better to rest there as well. They're going to U-turn here into stupid Raikou. Ah, this is not great. Okay, they, they knocked off, thankfully. Cool. So we can defog here. Uh, we get rid of Terrain, which is amazing. But more importantly, we get rid of Stealth Rock too, which is annoying and chipping away at me. I think I just bring out Polytoad as well as they go Raikou. I'm, I'm going hard Polytoad. <laughs> hard, I'm max special defense. I don't want them Aura Sphering and doing their 27% to my Mon. They can easily just Volt Switch too. Does Aura Sphere knockouts are rude? From Specs right though. I would say no. Nah, so it doesn't. It would do 1.5 times that, so it can't get knocked me out. I'm going to root. It's just, it's, uh, it's too, it doesn't give Kovali on a free switch. Yeah, on the Volt switch, exactly. No way, dude. You definitely die at 45%. So. How much does Darkest Lair do to Chandelier? 110%? Oh, nice. This could be... I don't care. I, I don't care if it's uh, Cobra Berry. Yeah. I have to, I have to risk it at this point. If I, if I play safely, I'm going to lose. So let it be Rocky Helmet. Let you do whatever. Let me get rid of that giant threat. So, uh, Chandelier comes out most likely. Or Raikou. Raikou did... Um, where is it? How much did Raikou do? Raikou did 17%. Offensive pivot. So that's just standard Raikou. They're probably gonna double the Raikou now. This went for Spec Shadow Ball, which makes sense. Thwacky can come out here. I can also go heal this. They they want to make a play that deals with I think one of the other, but I still make this a rude play. I think I just go for U-turn now, because uh, if they stay in, who cares? I can bring out my. Uh, I don't want them to go uh, Zerud. And in fact, it'd be great to catch the root right there. Mm, my liquidation from Dreadnought. I hate that I have to calculate this. That's 108% minimum. I feel like they have no reason not to go Raikou. I'm, I'm, I'm doubling Dreadnought. Yeah. Liquidation time, baby. It can be Scarf. <laughs> if they're Scarf, I, I, I die anyway, right? So, nothing I can do about that. But, the boy is back. Liquidation most likely kills Thwacky as well because it's a terrain extender. I'm, I'm most likely KOing a Blastoise here. Ooh, okay. So, Grassy Glide's gonna come out. Grassy Glide for sure. Is that two Akio me? A 2 a is rude? I don't think so. Tough turn, tough turn, man, tough turn. That has to 2 a KO Tornadoes, right? It's Thwacky. Liquidation in the rain. 
Torn. Grassy guy does 25 to 29%. Yeah, it's in my favor. In my favor right here. So let's go for it. I think you go Raikou. I'm going for it though. I don't think you risk this because... Come on, man. Two max rolls. Ah. Okay. So definitely Darkest Larry here. Hits everything. I don't think Thwacky can two a kill me. No, actually, I guess he could be adamant. But with terrain as well. Okay, so we get rid of Chandelier. Dwacky, if Dwacky comes out, that's better for me. I might be able to U-turn win this too. It's my, it more likely comes down to Zerud versus Zerud. I'm pretty sure my Power Whip in terrain destroys Raikou as well. Damn, this is not the last game I wanted. Why do I have to play double, like literally 10 Grass Mons? I say that because terrain pulls. <laughs> but holy crap, man. Rocks would have made this game so much easier. But I had to body press Blastos. I would lose to it. It was Aura Sphere. I'm pretty sure Heliodus died. I'm keeping Heliodus alive because uh, it may be able to take a hit for later. There goes Zerud now. I sack Polytoad. Clearly. And it's going to come down to Zerud stuff. So I'll just sleep talk here as they knock me out with Grassy Glide. I go for U-turn into Liquidation. They should go Raikou. But again, if I if they go Raikou and a U-turn that doesn't knock out Polytoad, then and if I burn Raikou, I have a shot at just like straight up U-turning winning this game. And my uh my healer list kills everything too. So I, just, I have to sack this. That's for sure my play. Damn it, Spade. This game is long. I have to I have to feed my dog. We're going out. Alright, so there's a grassy glide there. Doesn't kill me. So I click U-turn here. U-turn here knocks out the wacky. You turn here, knocks out Thwacky. This stuff six turns of rain as well. That Blastoise is what I wanted to come out. I can click Hyper Voice now and get back at 100%. We get rid of Blastoise as a guarantee kill. Well, this isn't a guarantee kill, but it's a kill on something. This damn Thwacky putting in some work versus me, bros. It's a kill on something. And uh, Stone Edge gets a kill now, too. So give me that. Five turns of rain. Give me my kill. Raikou doesn't kill me because it's not specs as well. Oh, and I got the grassy terrain on my side too, so just even case it does any type of damage, I'm good. I have to hyper voice this. As they scarf close combat, so it's gonna come down to oh, it just comes down to speed tie then. Literally comes down to a speed tie right here. This is the game is decided by this. Ah, uh, good game. So if I won that, I won because uh, Zerud, um, basically I U-turn out into Dreadnought. If they get up terrain, Power Whip knocks out Thwacky, and it knocks out um, Power Whip knocks out Thwacky, and it knocks out Raikou in terrain. So it came down to that speed tie. So once again, Zerud speed tie is always messing me up. Yeah. That was close, man. That was a good game. All right, we're going to end on there. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, that was like that was a really good game. Like I said, it came down to that speed tie at the end. It also came down to some thwacky rolls as well. Again, I don't know if it was adamant or not based on the... we can roll, If it was Jolly, I'd be really sad that I lost to 229%. But if it was adamant, so be it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Leave a like. Uh, if you guys want to support me on this, uh, if you guys want to support me on this um, this G Fuel round two, uh, you have until 11:59 p.m. to use code AIM. It's 30 percent off. I mean, it, as long as I'm in this tournament, it's 30 percent off. But yeah, you know, be cool. But uh, yeah, hope y'all enjoy. Peace.